everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris. We're back in the studio, and I'm so freaking happy. And before we go any further, let me just give a shout out to Mr. Shane Christian. I said his name right. He, along with myself, enjoys the Forge with the Fire show. So thank you, Shane. Give me a shout out. You know, I'm going to give him a shout out, too. Okay, shout out. We were supposed to have a table or a place set aside for 10. And it got lost in the mix on I know. a big night. I know. And it got taken care of later. Yep. And he did not bitch once. Thank you, buddy. To us. Yeah. I, he probably I, did, you know, his inner circle. But thank he you, didn't buddy. to us. And we're always going to try to make it better. Yeah. Golly. That is, that is one thing I've noticed different from cinema and stuff is we have such a big venue that when there's a Josh Abbott or something, it some of those parties get lost <clears throat> in the mix. I mean, some of those, it's just there's so many. When Rex wakes up to 70 texts, that's that's when it's, it becomes a tough deal. But, I'll, yeah, big shout out to Shane. And we not. hate making this show about the backyard. Yeah. But after every weekend, we come back in and try to find solutions to the problems yeah. that we had. Day we start building a big old beer trough, just because with that many people and it getting warm, we got to get we got to have more beer iced down. Uh, we didn't have the lunch menu on the show yesterday, you know. Of course, their texts start flying in. What are you having? I'm like, why do you care? You're not even showing up. <laughs> I got it today though. Barbecue chicken strip sandwich and fries and a drink. It's gonna be Eight good. Dollars. And, and they probably did show up. I wrote it. But uh. Today's show is about why does this generation, and I had a conversation last night with somebody on the phone, and I'll tell you after the show, why does this generation want, and there's other people, gratification for a job that you're supposed to do? You are a janitor. I'm just going to say it. You're a janitor. More You clean up. No, I'm talking about now you are. More You now have a job. You're a janitor. You clean up. Why do you need me to come over and go, God dang, dude, you did your job awesome. Good job on cleaning it I up. I think this is thank you enough. Here's your paycheck. That, oh, my gosh. That, oh, I have to, look, dude, or do this. If you get paid to do something, that is it. That is your gratification. Here is your check at the end <clears throat> of the week. Why do we need this so much? If you go above and beyond... If you go above and beyond, I think you should be thanked. Yeah. I think you should, as an owner, as a manager, as a boss, pay attention yep. to those people who go above and beyond and say a thank you. But the problem with that is, our, there, is a, there is a fine, we're learning this right here. Barry said it, our kitchen guy. A broom, I'm going to stick with this, a broom sweeps straight for 30 days then that it gets wore out and it starts missing stuff and we have it we, we have it and still people after this 30 days will want gratification for your job I, I, I think it, I think it goes with the job I think it goes with the level of Oh, what word am I looking for? Uh, level of training you need for that job, level of pay you get for that job. I agree. I, I think that's it. And I don't care. I don't care where you work. We don't care. I, I don't care where you work. But I promise you, the least paid in any company works the hardest. Totally agree with that. Barbacks work the hardest where where we have. People who carry all the boxes and all that stuff at Walmart work a lot harder than old Sam Walton's daughter. The, you know, yeah. It it gets the 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 higher you get, the less you work. I agree with that. Not because it's just that way. It's just that way. Yeah. And I do think the the higher you get and the more responsibilities you get, it becomes a this kind of a job. I'm good right. at these kind of jobs. Wouldn't you say? Yeah. I'm good at these jobs. I'm good at these jobs. 
because I got yeah. him to do these jobs. Yeah, and I got him to do this job. So I don't have to work. But that, we, as we were talking last night, it was like, dude, I'm trying to explain to him that you don't need, you don't always need that pat on the back. Even though you get it, they he, he gets it sometimes. But you know when you're, I knew at Paragon, when I was, I knew when I was being lazy. Trust me. I knew when I was stealing his material. There? Well, that's true. I knew when I was stealing his material to put it on my side of the deal so he would go and do because he was always proactive, get all this stuff done. So I'd just go over there when he goes to break, and I'd take two, and I'd take – I did that a couple times. But then we, came, we? we, did, then we came up with a system. Yeah. I would load his material for him, and he would make the material for us. But I knew when I was being lazy – so why would I want to be a pat on the back when my boss came back and I had all my stuff and he would go, Russell, that's good. That's a kid right here. Boy, he is staying, he is fine. He's staying up with this line. Okay. I'm like, yeah. let me go with this. Go. You're a gym rat. I'm a gym rat. You like getting in the gym. Good. And let's go six or eight months ago, you didn't have this physique. Did not have it. I was You get after it. Fluffy. You're guy. back in there a couple, two, three months later. If not one person comes up and goes, man, you're looking good. Can't do that with me, though. It still makes you feel good. I'm not a good person for that. It ain't no different than Megan going, you look good in them overalls. Yeah, I was 24 years old. But still, two. you still I, I like know, hearing. I know you want gratification. I get it. But for let's not go that way. Cause I, 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 We're going that way. I'll be honest. I know. I know when I when I'm doing what I do when when it works. You don't have to reward okay, me. Let me let me change it up. Change it up. And Gerald, Shane, uh, who else? There's a few others that will uh, totally appreciate this. I know comment. where he's going with You this. ready for this? I know where he's going. Yeah, if you go, man, to... I've been hitting the gym hard, and they go, "You're still a fat ass." Yeah, that I. At, it bothers you. At 27, it bothered me. At 57, nah. it's going to bother me. Nah. I don't care what he says, y'all. Nah. It will bother me. Yeah. I'm, I'm, wait, Shane, you're getting your show today because I'm disagreeing. I, I'm telling Shane, you. Shane, if you watch. I'm telling and you. And it's not Shane Christian. Shane, if you watch, let me know if you're on my side or not. I know Gerald ain't going to watch. No. All right. I'm going to say no, you say yeah, it don't matter. But I'm one that needs gratification. I am one, I, I'm i telling you, if I do something nice for you, if I do something above and beyond, just normal stuff, I like that pat on the back. And if I continue to do it, like if I do it once, you ain't got to come up and hug and kiss me. Okay. If I do it 10 times and I hadn't been... And it hadn't come to your attention that, man, I appreciate you came in and did all my computer work for me, counted all the money, swept up the bathrooms, sprayed them down. Right, right. After five, six, ten times, you don't do that, I got a problem with it. So I'm a little, I'm, I'm caught in the middle here. And I'm, I'm not going to lie, I'm, that's me. I, I, I'll, I, what is the, what is the, grat, what is it? That makes you want that gratification. Uh, insecurity. I I work hard. That's a good. That's and I work a little harder than most because I don't want anybody to go. Well, you didn't. It's not because I like it. Yeah. It's not because I want to put in more hours. It's because I don't want anybody to be able to go. Well, you didn't do your job. Yeah. I, I would, I would, I, yeah, okay. I don't want to show up anywhere and be the weak link. I hate it. You know, and I've been on some damn softball teams like Phoenix and stuff to where I was the, the weakest guy on the team. Yeah. And it sucked. Well, I, 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 I mean, these are ex-pro ball players yeah. and stuff like that, but I don't care. It's still... As, a, that, as being competitive, but I'm at I'm at 40. I ain't gonna go out and, and practice yeah, and hit yeah, yeah, and catch yeah, yeah. and field. But for me, it still is a psyche. It still bothers me. 
I would rather go, hey, let's go. Y'all want to go to the golf course? <laughs> you know? Y'all want to do something like that? I, I, I do get that, and that's kind of where I... You're going to disagree, but I don't care. When I was 27, 28, I did want that. I played for that. That's who that guy is. I want that attention. At this age, I don't care. Oh, I'm not saying you're like you were when you were 27. Yeah. I'm not saying that at all. I, 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 and I don't know if it's the... I like... I want to know what... I'm going to come in and do those dishes. As a husband, as you husbands out there, I'm going to come in and do those dishes. Do you want to hear these words? I appreciate you doing those dishes for me. Man, that is so awesome. I got a great husband. Or do you just do them in the fact of, hey, you know what? I'm just going to knock these out because I know she's busy and not need that pat on the back. Are you talking to them? I'm talking I'm just in general. Yeah. I mean, you can answer, but I'm, I'm asking that question. Me, Russell Clay, I don't ever care if Stephanie says, God dang, dude, I just I appreciate it. Well, that. in my house. I appreciate it. And I'm pretty sure it's this way, too. In my house, the one that's not busy usually does it. If I'm busy and there's dishes, she does them. If yeah. she's busy, which she's busier than I am, yeah. I do them. Now, if it ever gets to, let's just say she had a week off, and there's a deal of dishes, and she just continually walks past them, <laughs> we got a problem. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but I don't think that'll ever happen because she don't mind working. But is it the, what, where I, what is it, <clears throat> do you need? And this is, I want you guys God, you remember it. me used to work on the road for a week and come home and step on I the know, dirty clothes I know. to somebody who wasn't working. I know. And I know. God almighty. I know. I know. Lord it. That's what we're going with today. Lord it. Do you need gratification for what you do? That's it. So if this, is this, is this, well, I think this was a pretty good show. So if I don't, y'all don't comment and say it's good, <laughs> I don't have a problem with it. Just let me all know. That's perfect. That's the perfect way to end it because y'all don't share this show. God dang. Y'all don't even care about us. That that is that's all I'm saying. Our sponsor today is Shane Christian, and it is the I'm gonna move that over so I can see that. Is that C T I Let me just C I T S. I don't know why they can't Custom C I It starts with custom. Custom. Anyway, they we have ordered a phone service for us. To where we don't have to go. Backyard was sold out. Backyard was sold out. Backyard, we got 10 tickets left. Yeah. Backyard, we got 7 tickets Thank left. You. So, when you call, you'll be able to route to the kitchen, route to the bar, route to concert information, and hopefully it'll free up because the bartenders get wore out with these guys trying to get a drink and these guys waiting until the last minute to get told yeah. no, the concert sold out. Yeah. So, this weekend also, Black Hawk. And uh, Eli, Eli Young, Young, man, and I have been getting a guy that doesn't even really get a lot of text and stuff on the Eli Young, and I just respond, you better hurry up. You better hurry up. And inside joke to one watcher, I wonder if the drummer from way back in the day is still drumming for him. That's all I got to say. That's, I'm a dunk. Okay. Until tomorrow, I am Russ. This is Chris, and we are... <laughs>